if depression has taught me one thing through all these years, it is that the smallest gesture can save a life. The smallest gesture. Do you ever get the feeling, like the sense, that I hold very little value? That I, I don't make that much of an impact? That if I, if I stayed in bed today and didn't engage in the world at all or in my relationships or the people around me, my community, I don't even say hi to the person at Starbucks, would the world be that different? Would the world be that different? Would it be better? Would it be worse? Would it be the same? What impact do I make? Even we think that we're, we're lost in this grayness of people too because we're inside the status quo in the box so much because we need to eat, we need to pay our rent and our mortgage, we need to raise our kids, we need to have a strict routine that I'm not even the black sheep in the world. There's so much uniqueness out there, I don't even stick out. I don't have these crazy talents and abilities and my mental illness isn't even cool enough. I got depression and anxiety. Give me something cool. You know what I mean? What's my value? Not even purpose, but what value do I bring to other people? What value do I even bring to the world as a whole if you want to go that far? I get that feeling sometimes, man. I upload a video here and there. Come on, what am I doing here? I've been on YouTube a long time. A few thousand people listen to the podcast. A few thousand people sometimes listen to the episodes on YouTube. I don't know. Could I make a bigger impact? Is this even worth it? I get emails every day, but I don't get a thousand emails of people thanking me. I don't know. Feels like just a, a drop in the ocean. Feels like a drop in the ocean. But what if I told you that this guy, whatever faith you're part of, uh, doesn't matter if you're an atheist, what you believe. Let's just say this guy said something a few thousand years ago and some people wrote it down and it sounds pretty cool to me. You are the salt of the earth. Now as a child going to church every Sunday, I didn't know what was going on. <laughs> no child does. My parents wanted to go. You're a child. You can't make decisions for yourself. You go where your parents go. I laughed at my sister because she's like, the whole time when I was a kid, I thought the priest was Jesus. I didn't know who Jesus was. I figured the guy on the altar with the sash and the gold <laughs> was this Jesus guy. You are the salt of the earth and you are the light of the world. Now this quote didn't say, I wonder how it could change. If someone wrote down this and said, you are the salt of the earth, only until you make such and such an impact and change 10,000 lives. No, you are the salty of the earth, meaning you give the flavor to existence itself. You give the taste and the flavor to life. That's what humans do. What would I rather do? Sit in front of an ocean for my entire life alone. Beautiful ocean. Waves coming in. The soft breeze. Sun shining on me. Vitamin D. Oh my gosh. Mwah. That's my whole life. That scenario versus me sitting in front of a landfill. My entire life. Reeks of garbage, but you get used to it. Seagulls flying all over the place, but you get used to them. But I have 10 people. 10 people that I get to chat with, share stories with, eat with, celebrate with. People are the flavor. People are the salt of the earth. You are the flavor of this world. Even this morning, got up at 5 a.m. and I slept terribly last night. And great time to do a video. I slept terribly, got up at 5 to go to the bathroom and automatically I'm like, oh, what's for breakfast? You know, like 5 a.m., what, what am I going to eat for breakfast? Oh, it's always on the mind. Breakfast is the tough one for me. And I'm like, oh, I think there's some frozen guac in the fridge. So I'll put that on some toast and scrambled eggs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm 
you know, half asleep, open the fridge, ah, it's the cold hits me in the face, and there's no light in this freezer. And I'm feeling around because I knew they were in the door, and I pick out the guac and set it aside. And it thaws for the morning, and Vanessa, she makes me breakfast in the morning, and beautiful guac, edamame from last night too, over that pepper, beautiful eggs with onion, garlic, and as an asshole, I say, did you salt it? <laughs> Not, I didn't say it like that. I didn't ask it like that. And I'm like, did you add salt? So, so I don't over salt it. She's like, of course I added salt. I'm Italian. Cooking pasta is Italian. You, you make sure that that water that you're boiling those noodles in, that pasta in, is, is ocean salty. It's got to be ocean salty. It'll change the dish. And when there's salt in those meals, man, it expands the flavor of everything in there. It lightens up everything that was in that dish. As a family growing up, we didn't salt anything. We didn't flavor anything. I discovered salt about three years ago when I went on the carnivore diet and in order for the steak to have more flavor, I need to salt that. When you go on different kinds of diets, that aren't full of either processed things, but even grains, they have a lot of sodium in them. If you go on a strict veggie diet and don't add salt or anything and just meat, ooh, you're gonna be low in sodium, migraines may come, headaches may come. Salt, sodium is the life force of you and how your muscles contract and the hydration within you. You can dehydrate yourself by drinking too much water because you just flush out all the sodium in your body. When you sweat, I just licked myself for those on the podcast, you should be salty. You are salt and water, man. You are the salt of the earth, meaning you don't realize your value. You don't know the impact you're making. Exactly. You don't. In hindsight, you will. You don't know the impact you've even made. There are people in high school, people at your old job, they still think of you, I guarantee it. I guarantee it. And if there's one thing I've learned is that this whole existence, God forbid, or God loving that I'd live, you know, 80 plus, 100, that if I impact one person and made their life easier, more enjoyable, made the world a better place for them, then I added flavor. Just a sprinkle of salt sometimes is enough to add flavor to the dish. It's unlike a drop in the ocean. That you are the salt of the earth, meaning just a sprinkle. Something so small can make such a difference. That's like, you know, you can move mountains with just the faith of a mustard seed. Something so small makes such a difference as it grows. A pinch of salt, such a difference to add flavor. You are the salt of the earth. And when that voice comes in and says, you're not doing anything, you're not making a difference, they'll forget you, they'll forget you. What's this all about? What's the point? Why bother? Mm -mm. No. You got sodium in you. You got sodium. And as long as you're breathing, and as long as you're sweating out that salt, as long as you can contract these muscles, that means you got salt in you, brother and sisters. And that means you're very much alive. If you haven't salted your food like me until 2020, start salting now. If you don't think you've been adding flavor to the world and to other people and lightening up other people's days or saying hi to the barista or doing just such small things, the smallest pinch can make the biggest impact. The mustard seed grows so high you can move mountains with it. Look at yourself as Whew. if depression has taught me one thing through all these years. It is that the smallest gesture can save a life. 
the smallest gesture. It doesn't have to be a pumpkin seed. It doesn't have to be an avocado pit. These huge things. A mustard seed and a speck of salt. You are the salt of the earth, my friends. I hope you don't forget it. I'll see you next time. All the links are in the description below to help you on your journeys. Anxiety courses for you. A free six-part video series. Zoom calls with me every month to chat and practice our meditation. For me to kick you out of bed and motivate you a little bit because you're an awesome human being. I hope you know it. I hope you can see the good within yourself this week and carry that with you until I see you next Monday. Also, don't forget that there's a link in the description because this is enough for some people, but for most, it's not enough. It was never enough. And when I mean enough, I mean for my own emotional well-being and mental health. It wasn't enough for me to look at therapists on YouTube. It wasn't enough for me to get motivated by David Goggins. It wasn't enough for me to see a motivational speech. It's not enough. If you want to get well in the spirit and in the flesh and in your mind, I went to therapy. I went to therapy. I'm still in therapy. That's right. Betterhelp.com slash depression to expression. You get a discount if you just want to try online therapy. There's people that you trust on there. I have um, a meditation teacher as well as a therapist. And I have my, my, my Christian spiritual guide as well that I use. And I know what you're thinking maybe because I think it. Really? My dad didn't need this. My mom didn't need this. Previous generations didn't need this. I'm such a sensitive soul that really Scott needs therapy and I got to talk to someone about my feelings and I'm thinking about uh, uh, Christ in the afterlife and all these, this, these physical sensations and what I'm feeling around me and energies and what the fuck? <laughs> What the hell's going on? Is it because I'm not busy enough? Is it because I'm not strong enough? Is it because I'm weak? Is it because I'm some kind of beta male? Bullshit to all of it. Everyone's different, man. And the people that needed it back then didn't get it because there was stigma, they weren't allowed, and there weren't resources. There's resources today. So try the link in the description. Try my video series, which I promise I'll get to you. Join my email list by joining that video series. Because uh, I'd love to chat to you that way. Join Patreon, whatever you want. I hope you're good in mind, body, and spirit, my friends. God bless you, and we'll see you next week. I look forward to seeing you in the comments as well. Let's chat. If you don't think you're salty, baby, write a comment. I'll convince you otherwise.